This is our model so far. We have built the model structure for the branch uh, old drag. We will later copy this whole structure and paste it down for the new drag as well and just make a few changes. We will change the cost of the drug and we will uh, insert some treatment effects, but the rest will be identical. So this is just the tree structure, the states and the different transitions. And we also had a transitional state called hospitalized here. Next step is to insert variables to this model. One way to insert variables to a model is to simply write the value directly into the tree. So for example here for the state healthy, we can say that they have a risk of 10%, 0.1 of dying. They have a risk of 0.2 to get the disease. And then this would be 0 0.7 because it has to add up to 1. But another way to write that is to make this crossbar. So this means 1 minus this probability minus this probability. So this will in total always be 1. That's one way to do it, to manually insert it directly to the tree in all these different places. And the same to the costs here for the states and for this transitional state. The problem is that if you have inserted your variables manually in this way, directly to the tree, and you want to change one variable that occurs in several places in the model, you have to go through the whole model and change it at maybe five or ten different places. A more effective way to insert variables to a model is to create variables and give values to these variables and then write the variables, the name of the variables, in the tree. And uh, that's what we will do now in this model. In the Excel file called input data that you can download from the website, you have uh, the input data, the values of the variables. Uh, we have something called fixed variables and we have something called time dependent variables. The difference is that fixed variables will stay the same throughout the simulation. For example, the start age will always be 60 years for this cohort, of course. The cost of the new drug will always be 30,000 crowns. Uh, the first cycle, the second cycle, throughout the whole simulation, the cost will be the same. Uh, cost of the old drug and, and so on. These variables will be the same throughout the whole simulation. But with the time dependent variables, the values will change with time. Here, for example, we have a variable called prob die healthy. This is the probability or risk to die if you are in the state healthy. So we see here that at the age 40, there is a certain risk of dying. 41, this risk has increased somewhat. And the risk keeps on increasing for each age interval. That's why this is called a time-dependent variable, because the risk of dying, if you're in the state healthy, depends on the age. And the age will be the start age of the cohort, plus which cycle it is. So in this case, in our model, we will start at age 60, and during the first cycle they will have 1% uh, mortality risk, but then the second cycle it will be 1.5%, and so on, increasing. Now we will define these fixed variables. I go to um, this button, variable properties. If you can't see it here, you can go to views, variable properties. This box pops up. Uh, right now we have no variables defined, but if I press this button, add new variable, I can create and define a new variable. I will call this uh, start age. You could add a description for yourself. So, th so this is the name of the variable that we will use in the model. You could use a description for yourself to understand what this variable is, but I prefer to give it a name so that I understand from the name what the variable is about. So I just skip description. Define numerically at root. Uh, this will be 60 years. Okay. I will do the same for um, all these variables. So next variable is the cost of the new drug, which is 30,000 Swedish crowns. Add a new variable. See new drug. 
30,000. OK. And the next variable, cost of the old drug, 5,000 Swedish crowns. See old drug, 5,000. Then we have cost of a hospitalization, 70,000 Swedish crowns. See HOSP. Here we have a variable called HR, die new drug. HR stands for hazard ratio, so this is a relative risk. This means that the patients treated with a new drug have a decreased risk for dying. And the risk is decreased by 10%. So a hazard ratio of 0 0.9 means that the whatever the risk is for the patients treated with the old drug, the risk will be 10% lower for the patients treated with a new drug. So uh, hazard ratio die new drug 0 0.9 HR die new drug 0 0.9 and be careful here so you use a period and not a comma if you have this setting in a tree each and next another hazard ratio this is now uh, the risk decrease for getting the disease if you treat it with a new drug and also here we have a 10% decrease of the risk as a rate to disease new drug 0.9 and a third hazard ratio this is regarding the risk of hospitalization and here we have a half risk if this hazard ratio would be 1 it would mean the same risk if it's greater than 1 it's an increased risk and here we have 0 0.5 so it means half the risk HR HOSP new drug 0 0.5 and uh, here we have the utility weights the utility associated with being in the state healthy is here 0 0.8 you healthy 0 0.8 Utility of the state disease a bit lower, 0 0.65. U disease, 0 0.65. And we have a utility decrement associated with being hospitalized, and this decrement is 0 0.1. U dec hosp. 0 0.1. So I add this as a positive number, 0 0.1, but then later in the model we will have this uh, being negative, so this will be minus utility decrement for hospitalization. But uh, I will keep it as a positive number here. Okay. And finally we have a discount rate and we will use 3%. Discount rate. Zero point zero three. I close this, and here we see that we have all the variables lined up here at the, the decision node. I could make this wider to see them, and that's maybe um, helpful if you have a very small model with just a few variables. You want to see the, the values directly here. But if you have a big model with lots of variable, this is just messy. So um, you can uncheck these boxes and the, the variables won't be shown at the decision node. This looks uh, more clean.